Hey everybody, and welcome to part 11 of the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. This is going to be a super quick episode, but I just wanted to show you how to actually apply your core file inside Lightburn, because we don't show you how to do that in the actual lens correction video. So I wanted to make sure that we took some time to do that inside Lightburn so that you could see the process. It's pretty easy. So typically when you do your lens corrections, you're going to notice that your core file is saved inside your EasyCAD folder. So we're gonna open up our EasyCAD folder really quick. And here's our core file. It's the 110 millimeter underscore C core. And this file is what we wanna import into Lightburn in order to do our lens corrections for us. A lot of people will actually delete their EasyCAD folder after installing Lightburn and we don't wanna lose this core file. So what I always recommend doing is copying it and pasting it somewhere that you're not gonna lose it. For me, for this video, it's gonna be the desktop, but you can paste yours wherever you want. If you have a folder in the cloud or in a special hard drive somewhere, just make sure that it's somewhere that you're not gonna lose it. Then we can come back into Lightburn. We're gonna go up to our device settings and under the Galvo configuration, we've got a nice big button here that says load core file. We'll go ahead and click it. And we're just gonna to navigate to where our core file is saved and select it and hit open. You're gonna notice a couple things. For one, our field size has changed to 129.1. That is our calculated field size based on the math that was done while we were filling out our core file corrections. You'll also notice that our manual Galvo corrections have all been disabled. Side note, core file will not correct for your angle, so it won't align your Galvo projection to your workspace. So that's actually coming up in the red dot episode. So we're gonna do timing and then red dot, and we will cover that in red dot. And it's also not going to set your x-axis for you. So if you notice that some of your text, for example, is backwards or upside down, you may just have to switch Galvo 1 from the x-axis to Galvo 2. Same thing with negating them. Some combination of these four pillboxes here will get things oriented the right direction. So it's just a matter of turning them on and off until you figure out the right combo. But as far as the actual scale view and trapezoid lens corrections, the core file will load directly into Lightburn and all of those corrections will be made for you without having to do the hard slog of figuring it out manually. But that's it guys, that's all I wanted to show you. So thanks for checking back in after watching the core file episode. From here, you guys are going off to deal with your laser timing and then your red dot settings. Then after that, you guys are coming back to the crash course and it'll be more business as usual. We're gonna be talking about some intermediate hatch settings, installing and managing your parameter library, sub layers. Uh, we're gonna do a pass count demonstration and a whole lot more. So that's all coming up right after you guys get through the rest of your laser setup. So I will see you on the other side. Good luck guys and have fun. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. If you got value out of this one, don't forget to smash the like button, let everybody else know the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we add an episode to the Crash Course. If you need help with anything at all, there are links to our absolutely 100% free Discord and Facebook group down in the description, right next to the link to the Laser Master Academy, the number one way to support the channel. We absolutely love what we do here, guys, teaching you how to use your laser engraving machines, and we want to keep doing that. Every episode that we upload to the YouTube channel for everyone for free is thanks to our members over at the Laser Master Academy. If you want to sign up to support the channel, you can find out more over at masters.lasereverything.net. It starts at eight bucks a month. It comes with a bunch of bonus goodies for signing up and it's an awesome community over there. So I hope to see you over there soon. That's all I've got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one.